So, welcome student, uh, today we will discuss about the abdomen examination, mainly I will focus on abdomen palpation and percussion and the auscultation as well and we will also focus on uh, the ascites examination and so on, which are very important part of any examination. So, <coughs> whenever you start any examination, you should be on the right side of the patient, it is very basic thing you know that. So, introduce yourself, ask the name of the patient, age is important and at least ask the chief complaint that why he come to hospital, right? Suppose the patient says, I have a pain in the abdomen, then ask him the location and ask him some characteristics of pain. That is what uh, we have to ask in a very short history taking. If the patient is female, do not forget to ask the menstrual history as well as if she is pregnant, ask about the ops history like gravid and para and also focus on the patient past medical and surgical history. These are important point of history. So, once you do that basic uh, you know, interaction, then you go for the abdomen examination. So, in exam we may ask you the very segment part may be like you know, we may ask you examine the liver or kidney or spleen or bladder. Or, or examine the ascites like that. So, I will uh, uh, teach you how to examine these organs specifically. Uh, if you are asked to examine the liver, then let us see how to do it. So, you do the basics that I have explained and then tell the patient to flex the knees and ask the patient to take a deep breath because you know whenever you take a deep inspiration, the diaphragm will go down and the liver and spleen will also go down. So, there is a higher chance of palpating uh, spleen and liver during inspiration, that is why you have to say it. So, sir, please flex your knees and take a deep inspiration and expiration. Thank you. Now, for liver, you have to put a hand in the right iliac fossa obliquely such that the middle finger is directed towards the opposite axilla. So, this is the direction. It should not cross the midline, it should be on the right side or right iliac fossa. So, ask the patient to take a deep breath. And while uh, doing a deep breath, during inspiration, your hand should go down and wait till inspiration. Once the patient do expiration, you go forward around 1 centimeter like this one. Okay? And while palpating the liver, you, you constantly watch the face of the patient. So, sometimes patient may change the facial expression if he has pain. You know? So, once you get the liver margin, <coughs> okay, you trace the liver margin and try to find how big is the liver, right? Here you can see it is very big, see the margin here you can even see it is visible, okay? And always try to get the characteristics of liver margin. It may be rough, you can see over here, there is rough here, okay? Or the liver may be smooth like this one, smooth liver margin, right? So, find which is there and once you find the liver margin character, put a hand over the liver and do superficial palpation. Just try to feel. What to feel? We have to feel the liver surface, right? It may be regular or irregular. Then do some deep palpation at the liver and try to find the hardness of liver. It may be hard like your head or elastic like your nose or soft like your lips, okay? So, find the findings here and also see the face of the patient because you know if it is painful, patient will change the facial expression. So, here in this liver, I found it is hard, irregular, non-tender. These three finding I found it, right? Once you find the finding, now your job is to find the upper border of liver. See, <coughs> liver has a lower border as well as upper border. The upper border of liver is, you know, hidden uh, behind the rib cage. So, you can't palpate the upper border, rather you have to percuss the upper border. Then how to get it? So, see here, <coughs> the rule of percussion is, you know, put a hand flat, and the middle finger should be at the intercostal space, other finger slightly elevated and from the right side middle finger hit at the midpoint of the middle finger and just flex the wrist, you know. See here, suppose you found dullness over here, then just locate that area and now you should know how to count the that space. So, you have to find the sternal angle or known as angle of Lewis. So, it is angle between the, the manibum sterni and the body of sternum. So, if you find that angle, you trace the angle sidewise to get the second rib and now this is the second intercostal space. So, put a finger like this one, second, third, fourth, fifth. 
So you have counted it is in the fifth intercostal space along the mid clavicular line. So this is the area of the upper border of liver dullness. Now see here, <coughs> whenever the liver is enlarged, you have to you know, measure the enlargement. How to measure it? From the mid clavicular line, just reach to the subcostal margin, okay here, the subcostal margin, and use a, you use a measuring tape and measure it, the length. Roughly it is around 8 to 10 centimeter length, measure that as well. Now, <coughs> if the liver is hard and irregular, it may be due to the hepatocellular carcinoma, right? That's why you have to auscultate the liver as well. So, <coughs> when the liver is hard and irregular and you are suspecting patient might have a case of liver carcinoma, then you auscultate the liver, right? Because, you know, whenever there is uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, there may be increased vascularity at the site. So, just you put a stethoscope over here and just try to listen to the sound. So, we can hear the sound like this. This is the sound you may hear that is known as liver bruit, indicating the increased vascularity at the site. So, this is all about the liver examination. Now, once you do that, what we will ask in exam? We will ask what is your finding? So, you have to explain like this one. So, there is a hepatomegaly around 10 centimeter enlarged from the coastal margin along the mid clavicular line. The liver age is irregular or smooth, whatever you find. The surface is hard, irregular, non tender, or whatever you find, maybe smooth, you know, tender, whatever you find. Here it is hard, irregular, non tender. So, uh, the upper border of liver dullness is at the right fifth intercostal space. Once you say that, then we will ask you what is your differential diagnosis. For this case, where the liver is hard, irregular, non tender, your DD must be at least 2. You should say this could be your liver cirrhosis or liver cancer, likely hepatocellular carcinoma, right. So, you should know the causes of hepatomegaly as well. So, causes most common causes are chronic liver disease, maybe due to alcohol or maybe due to virus. Uh, it may be uh, liver malignancies like a primary malignancy means hepatocellular carcinoma or secondaries and right heart failure and other causes. So, at least you should know two to three common causes for exam. Okay? So, once you say that, then we will ask you what is your next plan? So, the next plan must be your investigation, right? So, once you say investigation, you have to, uh, we will ask which one. So, for liver disease, start from liver function test, okay. In liver, in liver dysfunction, you will find increased bilirubin, ALT test is higher, prothrombin time will be higher, right. So, if you are suspecting liver carcinoma, you have to say, I will do contrast enhanced CT scan, triple phasic CT scan of abdomen. So, uh, the findings will be in non-contrast phase, it, it will be hypodense. In the contrast arterial phase, it will be hypodense and slowly phase out in the, in the venous phase. So, this image I will explain in a separate video in image video. Okay? So, this much is essential uh, for the examination of liver. Thank you.